Hello and welcome to Colorado Boat Center. Today I'm going to be walking you through the 2012 Chaparral 224 Sinesta. Some of the features and benefits you'll find on the outside of the boat. Right now we've got this this boat on a custom easy loader trailer tandem axle brakes on both both axles it's a hydraulic surge system one thing Chaparral is really known for and what they've set the standard for is their hull design they use what's called the extended v-plane hull uses an integrated swim platform no bolt-on um, finish here the way it works is you'll see on the back here the hull actually extends out about six to eight inches further past the out drive. What this, what this does is it acts as a built-in planing tab for the boat so it'll get up on the plane quicker, uh, hold the plane at a slower speed and also handle that wa uh, rough water really well. We've got this boat powered with a 5.7 fuel injected Volvo Penna engine with the duo prop. You do have your power plant choice of Mercruiser or Volvo. Uh, we just chose Volvo Penna on this one. Everyone's allowed to pick what they want. Again, here's that really nice long extended swim platform that it is built into the boat. So you don't have any bolts here. Nothing's going to rust out underneath it trying to support it up. It's part of the structure of the boat, so it's going to hold up a lot longer than some other manufacturers. Here on the back, you've got You've got a water fill. You've also got fresh water shower here. Uh, this is really neat. You'll also see that you've got we've got uh, another hose nozzle up in the front. It makes it easy to, you know, clean yourself off, clean the boat off uh, without getting the inside of the boat so dirty. You've got fuel fills on both sides of the boat. Makes it real nice if you're pulling up to the marina. You can uh, fill the boat from either side without having to try and figure that out also as, as well for when you're trailering the boat uh, you can fill it up on the same side as the truck now we're up on the swim platform here you'll notice we've got this non-skid surface it's a, it's a nice nice swim platform mat uh, it's gonna hold up very well over the uh, life and time but what this what this is really nice for is it, it acts as a protecting surface for your boat and also for the equipment say your wakeboards your water skis as you put it on see my swim my swim ladder here it's got a nice nice deck lid so you're not stubbing your toe you know say on the ladder or other pieces of equipment that might catch on to it it's got a nice concealed place also you've got a nice lip here so when you're back here you do know where the swim platform Once is inside the boat you're gonna really notice a lot of the features that you know having a deck boat is gonna be for you there's a ton of space inside here ample amount of storage so I'll kind of hit hit some of the high high spots here for you. First off in the back here, you'll notice we've got a nice L-shaped interior. Very comfortable, very, very relaxing. But also if you're gonna be just kind of hanging out on the shore for the day, you've also got this piece here that'll fold down. So you've got a nice full sun lounge. Uh, make relaxing in the sun very nice here and easy for you. Got a wet bar on the side. Solid surface countertop with again more storage here. You're going to notice your battery shut off is right there. Also an air pump for all the all the toys you're going to be using here. But we've got premium bucket seats and a couple nice features that these have is you do have the built-in flip-up bolster but you've also got easy placement for your um, seat slider and your swivel it's just these levers here on the side you can actually move the boat the seat forward and backward very easy instead of trying to have to fumble down underneath uh, underneath the seat and figure out which switch is which as we come up into the front of the boat, you notice a very large open bow area here. It's get, this is going to be very comfortable for two, three adults. 
and you'll be able to enjoy your boating experience. I've also got front. that bow insert here so you can have a full lounging area. Really, really make the most of all that space up here in the front of the boat. As we come back through that walkthrough, you'll see here on the side there's a little door. This is actually a draft shield. What this will do is work to work to prevent a lot of that airflow that comes through the open bow. Say if you're out early season, late season, you just close that up along with the windshield and you've created your own draft force there. Down here you've got access to your stereo as well as some more additional storage. Come around here on the passenger side, notice this door here. This is going to be access to your porta potty enclosure slash changing room. Again, a solid surface countertop, nice wood grain finish to there. There's a little rod in here uh, for you to be able to maybe hang your life jackets up, use it as a drying source as well. Another spot for you uh, that a lot of people are looking for is where can I store my wakeboards and water skis? And that, you've got that storage down here. This is tremendous amount of storage. Uh, you're going to be able to get as many skis and boards as you possibly could want down here. There's a rubberized mat here on the bottom. That allows your equipment to drain out without all your equipment sitting in a puddle of water too. Another feature you're going to see here is you've got the snap in snap out carpet. What's really nice about that is if you want to clean the boat, all you do is pull that carpet out, spray it off with a hose, pressure wash it. Also the interior of the boat, you can just take a scrub brush to the floor. Works out real easy. Up here again at the bow of the boat, uh, you're going to see another hose nozzle. This is going to, you know, this is going to help you keep the boat clean diamond plate skid surface here so when you get in and out of the boat it's really easy to get into. Your navigation light actually flips up so if you are walking over it you're not going to be stubbing your toe. Really nice feature. Right here you've got your lid for your ladder and your anchor storage. Enough room in here for your anchor chain, anchor rope, but also you've got a four step boarding ladder. Uh, very nice feature if you do beach the boat. As we look at the dash here, you'll notice the soft, soft touch surface, nice toggle switches. You've got a dimmer for your gauges here, tilt steering for the steering wheel. We brought this in with a digital gauge package. Also, Chaparral uses custom gauges that are gas infused so that you're not going to have to worry about them fogging up over time. Also, they're glass enclosed versus the cheap plastic that a lot of manufacturers use. Compass is included. Over here, we've got re stereo remote, so the driver always has control. And a 12 volt plug and a holder for your MP3 player, iPod, whatever. Looking back, these are some of the features you're going to find here that are very useful for the 2012 Chaparral 224 Sinesta. Thanks for watching.